Well, they'll they'll have to take their interest rates up also if the if the Federal Reserve, which is almost certainly going to take their interest rates up, uh, their their currencies are going to weaken. There is going to be an outflow of capital. What they need to do is work with multilateral institutions and with aid donors to ensure that vulnerable groups in their countries can be protected. What they should not do is have across the board. Uh, sub subsidization or price caps, et cetera, et cetera, when they, when they can't afford these things. The idea is to continue to make investments in human capital, investments in digitalization, investments in the green transition, and support vulnerable groups at this time. And this might also be a good time to have that conversation at the multilateral level in terms of debt resolution frameworks, debt restructuring, et cetera, et cetera. That conversation has been going on the last 15 years. There's been great progress in terms of debt restructuring at places like the IMF, uh, in terms of providing immediate liquidity support on a short-term basis. That conversation has not gotten too far. IMF has tried, failed. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But at this point of time, the multilateral institutions are well funded. They are not lacking financial capability, especially with the SDR uh, allocations which have been made recently. So there is ample money on the table, but that money needs to be guided in the right places, and countries have to be careful not to be wasteful at this point of time when they are on the edge.